Thanks to you, Miss Coyle, we're getting married now! Thank you so much for everything! My name is Nano Numuru, and today I'm visiting Koyo, one of my co-workers who set me up with my fiancé, Masayoshi. Koyo is my boss, and she knew that I haven't gotten a boyfriend in ages, so she decided to set me up with someone. I wasn't really into the idea at first, but I fell in love with Masayoshi as soon as I met him, and so we started talking after that, and now we're getting married! You guys, this is great news! I'm so happy for you! Miss Koyo? Oh, what am I doing? I can't be crying! <laughs> so, what are you guys gonna do for the wedding? We're thinking of keeping it small. We're planning on inviting our closest friends and family members. And we were hoping you'd join us. Yeah, of course! And so the wedding plans were progressing very smoothly. But we had just one problem that we had to deal with. It had to do with my soon-to-be sister-in-law, Reina. She's Masayoshi's older sister, and she got married with her boyfriend five years ago after giving birth to their child. However, her husband ended up getting a divorce with her in just two years because she wouldn't stop overspending and going out every night despite being a mother. She moved back in with her parents after that, and they're helping her raise her kid, but... To tell you the truth, she doesn't take care of her kid at all. As you can tell, she's quite the character. But that wasn't even the worst of it. Hello! So you're Nano, huh? You're gonna be marrying my nerd brother? Um, what? Oh, my name's Reina. I'm Masayoshi's sister. We're going to be family now. Nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you as well? But anyway, why'd you decide to marry my brother? He's nerdy and unattractive. How can you even put up with him? By the way, I'm not trying to criticize you. It's just that I've never gotten along with my brother. He's always on a high horse and it's so annoying. I'm a single mother now, so he should be treating me with more respect and kindness. But this was what Masayoshi said about her. She's the worst person I know. She always makes other people take responsibility for her actions and decisions. But I guess he was right about her. So what can I do for you? Oh yeah, about that. I wanted to talk to you about the chores. What chores? You know how I'm super busy with raising my kid, right? And I don't have anyone to look after me anymore. I'm still young, so I'm trying to find a new partner as well. Long story short, my hands are full. Okay? So please don't try to rely on me for anything, all right? W what Oh, and before I forget, I have to talk to you about the pickups. My mom picks up my kid from preschool every day, but I was wondering if you could help her out from now on. W wait but what about you? Well, I'm not really a morning person, so I'm usually asleep then. B but don't preschools usually end in the afternoon? Well, it's still in the morning if the sun is up. Then who takes your kid to preschool? Well, my mom does. My dad still works, so duh. But... This is your child we're talking about, right? Well, they're his grandparents, so they should be helping. And this is the most important thing. Wait, what? There's more? Yep, this is about my room. Your room? My room right now is small and it doesn't have any good ventilation. So at our new place, I want you to save the best room in the house for me. You know, the biggest room with the most number of windows. And make sure you prepare a separate room for my kid. He can get pretty loud, so make sure you choose a room for him that's far away from mine. Well, wait a minute. I don't understand what you're talking about. Chores, pickups, new rooms? What are you even saying? What? We're gonna be living together from now on, right? Whoa, what? It, no, absolutely not. Why not? You're marrying into our family. I had to live with my ex-husband's parents when I got married. His mom was the worst, though. She constantly bullied me and made me do everything. It pisses me off just thinking about it. But don't worry, my mom isn't like that. She doesn't have time to boss you around because she's busy taking care of my son. I'm sorry, but I am not moving in with you guys. What? Sure, I might be marrying into the family, but we're planning on getting a room right around our office, so we can't live with you guys. But that makes no sense! H how so? Who the hell is going to do all the chores for me then, huh? My mom has been forcing me to do them lately. I thought if you moved in with us, she'd stop bugging me about it. Well, they're helping you take care of your son, right? Shouldn't you help them out? <sighs> you sound just like my brother. You guys were meant for each other, weren't you? You're just a bunch of bullies. This is harassment, you know. 
Whoa, that's an exaggeration. W wait, what about the renovations then? W what renovations? This is news to me. Well, your fiance is the eldest son of our family. He should spend money and help us renovate our home. Well, sure, in your world that might make sense. But that doesn't mean you can request the largest and best room in the house. Well, that's my home. It's my right. But if we're actually going to move in with you guys, then it'll be our home too, right? But I have a son. You just said you wanted a separate room for him. God, you're so annoying. Just stop arguing with me. You're really his wife, aren't you? This is just despicable. Why would you kill my hopes like that? You shouldn't have hoped for all of those things in the first place. If you do move in with us, I'll probably die. Because you and your husband have such a suffocating personality. You better not ever show your face around here. What the hell was all that about? I immediately showed my text to Masayoshi. Th this is insane! Masayoshi apologized to me immediately, and he sent his parents a text explaining to them what had just happened. Reina ended up getting scolded by them, and afterwards, she sent me a million texts cursing me, but... You finally answered, you bitch! Why the hell would you tell mom about what I said? <sighs> you haven't changed at all, have you, sis? M masayoshi I thought you would have matured a little after becoming a mother, but I guess I was wrong. I'm sorry, but I'm not inviting you to the wedding. Dad and mom are coming, though, so you're actually going to have to look after your kid that day. But why the hell have I got to do that? It's not fair! Because he's your son! I made sure to block her number, so don't answer any calls from numbers you don't recognize. She always tries to reach people through public phones and whatnot. Her ex-husband got depressed because of how persistent it was. It was really ugly. But don't worry, I'm going to protect you. <sighs> Are these two really siblings? But anyways, I was glad to hear that Masayoshi wasn't planning on inviting his sister to our wedding. I didn't want her to come. And because no children were coming to our wedding, we went ahead and chose an adult-oriented menu for our wedding dinner. We prepared a lot of drinks for our guests, too. And we thought it was going to be a great event, but we couldn't have been more wrong. After wrapping up the wedding ceremony at the chapel, we made our way to the party hall for the after party. But right when the party was getting started, I heard the crowd murmuring about something. When I looked up in their direction, I saw... What the hell is this menu? My son can't eat this. Oh, sir, could you bring me some more wine, please? Why is she here? Reyna? Reyna, how the hell did you get in? Well, obviously, while everyone was distracted by the speech you made, I snuck in through the back, but no one seemed to realize. Apparently, she had been drinking for quite a while now. It was obvious that she was completely drunk. W where the hell is so out? Hey, get out of my way. Coming through. Whoa. Hey, stop that, Saddle. No. I don't want to! Mom said I could do anything I wanted! Reyna, do you realize how important today is? You need to control your son! This is what you get for not inviting me! You guys deserve this! <laughs> I don't remember sending you an invitation, Reyna! You need to take Sorau and get out of here right now! The crowd was all looking at Reyna, awaiting her response, but for some reason she seemed relaxed. Like she knew that everything was going to be okay. Well, hold on now. You sure you want to be talking to me that way? What the hell do you mean, Reyna? Come on in, honey. But that's when the main doors to the party hall slammed open. And in came this man. Hey, honey, is something wrong? This man, the way he's dressed, his eye patch. Anyone could tell that he was with the Yakuza. Sorry to burden you with this on your day off, honey. No, don't worry about it. I would go anywhere for you, my love. Hey, you! We're in the middle of an important ceremony right now, and... Are you the man that's been troubling my woman? Uh, n no <sighs> There's too many of you guys right now for me to handle by myself. Maybe I should call in some of my men. Stop! I'm not going to let you ruin my wedding! <laughs> so this is your brother, huh? He really is a stupid nerd, isn't he? Right? <laughs> hey, nerd. If you want to make sure that everyone leaves this hall alive, then you gotta do something for us. You did insult my girlfriend, after all. But she shouldn't have come in the first place! 
Okay, then I guess I'll just have to ruin this party. And when everyone heard that, our guests all started to panic. But my husband wasn't willing to back down. He was a man that valued justice above everything else. But this was too much for him to handle. Honey! I tried tugging on his shirt to get his attention. But that's when... So whose wedding are you going to ruin, huh? M miss Koyo! Huh? Koyo? That's right. Miss Koyo was standing by the door, staring the man down. She had just come back from the restroom. And as soon as he saw her face... N no way. You're not the Koyo the Bloody, the head of the Red Bloom clan, are you? Don't call me by that name, you asshole! You're embarrassing me! Uh, whoa! R Ryuji! Your name's Ryuji, huh? Interesting. You're not going to get away with this, you asshole! You can't just treat my boyfriend like that! He has powerful friends, and they're all gonna come after you when they hear about what you just did to Ryuji! What? You're kidding me, right? He doesn't have any powerful friends. He's just a loser that used to work for our clan. Wait, what? I didn't want him to work for us, but he insisted. He was terrified of us and didn't want to make us enemies. But he was completely useless. He would always go out and buy the wrong things or use our money on games instead, so we ended up beating the crap out of him. I haven't heard from him since. I, uh, but... So, Ryuji, what do you want from my friends? N nothing You do know that these people are my good friends and that I set them up, right? So what the hell are you doing here, huh? Uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that you were friends with these people. I, I was just told by this woman to ruin this wedding. I, I'm sorry. Hey, Ryuji. Why the hell would you invite me to a wedding like this? You're on your own now. I'm so sorry about all of this, it's Koyo. Ryuji, what the hell? <laughs> hey, Mom, I did as you said. You're gonna buy toys for me now, right? K keep your mouth shut! But, but, but you said you'd buy me toys! You lied to me! Get Cut out. out! Whoa, what? Raina was dragged out of the hall by a bunch of staff members. When the party was over, her parents made their way to the room she was in and gave her a good smack. And after getting a good, long scolding, she was dragged back home by them. And by that time, her son was asleep. I guess he got really tired from running around all day. Hey! Why are you guys ignoring me? What the hell is wrong with you, huh? Whoa! You need to leave. Wait, what? Mom? You told us that you needed help raising your child because you couldn't handle being a single mother. And we gave you the benefit of the doubt and let you and your son stay at our place. But look at you now. You never take care of your son. And you go out to drink with your friends every night. And now you're dating that loser of a man that tried to ruin your own brother's wedding with him. B but it didn't end up working, so no harm done, right? You coming alone ruined the wedding for a lot of people. I don't know how I can apologize to Nano's parents. So you're going to choose that bitch over me? Of course we are. N no! From now on, I won't consider you as my daughter. You can do whatever you want in life. I don't care anymore. Get out! Dad, please help! Get out! Fine! I don't care about you guys anymore either! Yeah, huh? Mom, where are my toys? You don't get any toys because you're a brat! I can't find anyone to marry because of you! Get out! Yeah, I will! Screw you guys! And so she ended up getting kicked out of the house, and she left her son with her parents. He seemed devastated to learn that his mom was gone at first, but he eventually got over it. To be fair, she never took good care of him to begin with, so it didn't really matter for him. But now that his selfish mother was gone, his grandparents were able to re-educate him properly. They made sure that he didn't end up becoming selfish and irresponsible like his mother. I heard that he tried to resist at first, but when I went to visit my in-laws the other day, he said this to me. I'm sorry for causing a scene at your wedding. He apologized to me. I knew it wasn't his fault, so I decided to forgive him and give him a hug. But anyway, after our wedding, we thanked our Cupid and Savior, Miss Koyo, for everything. Now we're living happily in our new apartment that we moved into right after getting married. And a year later, we had our first child. I decided to take some time off of work to focus on raising our kid. Man, 
Life is so good right now. Huh? I wonder who it is. No, no! Who is this? It's me, Reyna! What? Please don't block me! I just want to talk! Please! Um, no thank you. Come on, don't be like that! I'm not going to give you your parents' new phone number, so don't even bother asking. No, I just need to borrow some money from you! Absolutely not! But we're sisters now! Sure, we might be in-laws, but… Yes, but you did try to ruin our wedding, and I haven't forgiven you for that yet! I I'm sorry, alright? You think an apology is going to fix everything? Well, what else am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to lick your shoes or something? No, that's disgusting! God, you're so annoying! You haven't changed at all, have you? Anyway, I don't want you to contact me anymore. If you do, I'm going to ask you to pay us for causing a scene at our wedding. Wait, what do you mean? You showed up uninvited and tried to ruin our wedding. You caused an absolute mess. And your son acted like a little brat. Your parents had to go around and apologize to everyone that he harassed. That should have been your responsibility, you know? Well, what's done is done. I can't do anything about it now. They don't even consider you their daughter anymore. But they still went through the hassle of cleaning up after you. God, why the hell do you guys always try to bully me? I had to get a divorce with my husband and I ended up as a single mother. I'm a victim here. The real victim is your son. You abandoned him like he was nothing. But you can keep on acting like you're the victim. Go ahead. But we're not going to feel bad for you even if you do. Please never contact us again. Hey, hold on. Then pay us. I don't have money though. Then goodbye. So I ended up blocking my stupid sister-in-law. I heard this from a rumor, but after our conversation, she found another man she could leech off of and lived off of his paycheck for a while. But after breaking up with him, she ended up getting caught up with some bad man and... Miss Coyle told us all about what happened to her. Those are some bad men you never want to get involved with. If she ends up reaching out to you guys, don't answer. It's a trap. But thankfully, she never did. I guess she was afraid of having to pay up for the mess that she caused at our wedding. But even if she did, I would never put up with any of her bullshit. She brought this all upon herself. And I don't feel bad for her at all. Hopefully she stays alive, but beyond that, I don't care what happens to her.